If you ever want to use um, autonomous vehicles or uh, want to consider a future where we have more stable and robust network connectivity between our smart devices uh, like smart uh, smartphones, smart watches, or even smart pacemakers, it would be best to use 5G networks. And our project is about making 5G more, uh, more secure and uh, making sure that it can stay more robust and stable. We have been hearing about AI more than ever recently. This collaboration between UManitoba, University of Waterloo, Concordia University, and Ericsson focuses on leveraging AI as a response to cybersecurity threats. How are you approaching that, and what got you interested in this project in the first place? The fifth generation of mobile network, or what we commonly call as 5G, has the potential to support millions of user devices um, with ultra-fast user mobility, network connection. Uh, if I just want to put it simple, i say that it has the potential to make our lives better. For example, it can assist um, uh, user accessibility by enabling autonomous vehicles. On the other hand, if we want to have all these great, awesome benefits, it means that we may require to adopt some technologies in a way that is different from how we used to in prior mobile networks. For example, we may require to adopt virtualized environments like cloud computing, network conscious virtualization. So it means that now we may need to deal with virtualization vulnerabilities or we may require to adopt resources from different vendors. Each vendor may come with their own uh, security or privacy concerns and policies. Or we may need to deal with more complexity due to the interaction between this now disaggregated units that we have in 5G networks. So these all call for more advanced and new security solutions. We cannot just go take whatever solution that we have for Pre mobile networks, apply them to 5G and expect them to be effective. What got me interested more than anything else uh, in this project was the fact that now, thanks to this uh, collaborative effort that we have, we will be able to tackle different challenges from different points of view here, from different angles. We're building security solutions, automated security solutions by leveraging artificial intelligence that can secure different parts of our 5G network architecture uh, from the edge of the network, like more closer to the user, as well as uh, the core network. And we're looking at network behavior, historical network behavior, trying to make sense out of it and prepare for the threats that will come in the future. We're considering different levels of uh, strengths for our attackers. So this is what I mean by like different kinds of challenges that they can consider and tackle in this project. And by doing that, I mean, we would be able to increase the transparency and security of 5G, which would lead to wider and more secure adoption of 5G-enabled technologies like IoT and smart home and that we know have cost-effective and life-saving benefits to our society. What does this collaboration mean to you personally and what do you hope to accomplish with it? This collaboration between industry and academia and of course the funding support that we receive, uh, we will receive from NCC and Ericsson would enable us to build practical solutions that can be integrated with real world systems and applications. And you know, this is a dream of many researchers that we would be able to have um, real world impact on people's life. Another thing is that, uh, speaking from my own experience, such a collaboration with the industry would serve as an opportunity, a great opportunity for us to learn better about real world security challenges and existing practical solutions, because now we would have this valuable feedback from our industrial experts. And I'm really pleased to work with Ericsson and other academic partners so we would be able to enhance and develop our expertise in artificial intelligence and cybersecurity so we would be able to better protect the cyber environment of our country. Another thing is that, of course, this collaboration would help us to train top cybersecurity talents across Canada because now students would gain this valuable hands-on and system building skills and also they would get um, great exposure to real world security challenges, practical solutions, which all would give them a competitive edge in the today's job market. What has been the most surprising aspect of the project? What is one challenge you had to deal with? First, 5G and the technologies that we adopt to 
enable its uh, full potential, for example, Open Radio Access Network, or ORAN, are pretty much new. So one major challenge that I can see is that uh, there will be a learning curve. But at the same time, I see this as an opportunity because whenever we have such emerging uh, area, it means that there is a big chance for us to make meaningful, novel contribution. Just to make it more technical, I'd say that I expect that we will face very interesting challenges in terms of uh, interoperability due to the openness and multi-vendor nature of 5G and also scalability and efficiency because of the size and agility of, uh, that we have in 5G networks. I guess we will face more exciting challenges, interesting challenges as we go further down the road, um, but let's see, let's see how it goes.